father passed away when he was 10 years old, his whole life took a turn where he had to drop out of school and live in an orphanage. At age 20, he gave his heart to the Lord and came to America at 27 years old. Now he's preaching and helping saving people's lives for the better, which is what Gabriel Turner talks about in his past upcoming documentary. So please welcome international evangelist Gabriel Turner. So hi, welcome. Please yes. tell us nice. more about you and what you do. Well, I'm coming from Trinidad. Um, Trinidad. Yes. Born Woo. in Trinidad. Um, coming from Port of Spain. Uh, is an area called Silat. Like, they call it the slums. You know, um, we had a one way in and one way out. But um, my life, I had a good life, you know. Um, I, I till the age of ten, um, that's how it happened. My father passed away, and uh, he was poisoned. Wow. And um, that's when my life take a, a real turn for the worse. I didn't think I could have make it without him, because the whole thing he had my dreams. He had big dreams for my life. And the author of my go be my book is um, my dream being resurrected. But before my dream being resurrected, I was really a stressed out young man, heartbroken. And when that happened, my mom, she had a nervous breakdown, okay. which they put her in the mental institute. And I was remaining in, my, in the house, me and my sister, and they took us to the orphan age. That was the worst ever happened to me, being away from your family. No one came and see me. So I really gave up. I didn't think I could have make it in life. I didn't think I could have be anything. Dropped out of school, didn't care about school, didn't care about life or nothing. But um, something did happen. After my mom came out of the mental institute, she came and got me after two years. So after that, I, I decide, well, I don't know why I'm going, what, what to do, because I ain't been to school. I was dropped out. She, um, then I remember that me and these guys, we, we said we're going to build a boat and go into and fish. And that's when. Um, I got a little hope because I was fishing and the storm came. And I should have been dead today. But thank God, the Coast Guard, I don't know how to see us, but he came and they rescued us. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen a lot, yeah. Yeah, yeah I should have been dead, you know. I shouldn't <coughs> be talking, but. No, don't say that. You know, no. Yes, well, <laughs> it wasn't God. So that's yeah. the first time I realized there was a God. Okay. Somehow I've been saved for some purpose. But I didn't know what purpose I was saved for. I uh, didn't serve him after that. I went about my life. Mm -hmm. The age of 20, I remember I used to go to party. Um, they used to call me the soul man. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to do the James Brown. Wow. Oh, OK. And I, I remember that night, I danced till sweat came off my brow. In fact, they, 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 they pushed me out of the club. <laughs> the the lights the went was off. Over, you were still dancing? I was still dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you had a good time. Oh. But I don't know, that was the last dance. We were, um, on 6 o'clock in the morning, the bright light shine in my room. The sun and a voice said, today you got to change your life. I didn't know what to do. I went to see my best friend, which he was really encouraging to my life. He saved my life. After that, I did try to commit suicide, and my best friend saved my life. And after that, I came to the Lord at 20 years old. And before that, after that, I've been, um, I decided to come to America. Mm -hmm. And this way, my life really turned, really take off. I came to a church in Brooklyn, uh, of um, Franklin and the Church of Elam. The pastor was Bill McKinley, and he taught me the word. 
And then I really get confidence and start preaching in the streets of New York mm -hmm. since the late 90s. That's hard. Wow. Yeah. Um, um, I was preaching, I think it was on Fifth Avenue um, on Broadway. And this tiny girl was passing by and she was on her way to commit suicide. She heard me preaching. She came to me and prayed. She said, why don't you pray for me? I want to commit suicide. Wow. And she life was saved. Right now she's in Philly doing her own business. Right. I was on 34th Street preaching. Mm -hmm. And this guy named, uh, me from Scotland, named Ross Walker, he came, uh, I ministered to him. He got saved and his life was changed. So I know I was here for a purpose. You see the effects of God, yeah. So right. I want to let people know your setback is your comeback. Right. Yes. Yeah. Disappointment yeah. is your appointment. And one, one thing I want to let you know that it wasn't for the Lord. I don't know why it would be. I lost a lot of friends, lost a lot of family. But you got to have faith. Not yes. Sure. And because of God, I am here today, and Amen. because of Bill McKinley, I'm an international evangelist. But what happened to me? This year coming, I become the citizen of the United States of Amen. America, and I have the, the right to go and preach the gospel to, to the world. But I want to let you know um, what, what happened is because my dream I resurrected. The same dream my father had for me came to pass. Mm -hmm. yes. So don't give up on your dream. You know, yeah, all yes. is here, Martin Luther said, free at last, free at last. But I want to let you know that my dream being resurrected because I become a citizen and now I can go into the world and right. preach the gospel. Yes. And my story is to help young men yes. that came out of a low background, out of the ghetto, that you can have faith. God can, nothing impossible. You just got to believe. Amen. And I just want to thank God today on this show to, because this word is for those people that came up in the same area mm -hmm. without hope. Didn't think you'll make it. But you have hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And I want to leave this with you. Why I say my dream is resurrected in the, in the Bible, when Jesus resurrected Lazarus from the grave, that's how I was resurrected. Right. My dream re resurrected. My mind came back. I almost lose my mind. Should right. be in the mental industry, but thank God. Mm -hmm. He saved me. And okay. you have a chance today. Just have hope and, and faith, faith yes. right. in the Lord Jesus Christ. And you can't do anything that you want to do in life. Want to do in life. Yes, that is Same so true. If you believe Same in yourself, you got to believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of odds was against me, but I I I, I pressed through all odds. Right. Fight the good fight of faith. Mm -hmm. like Paul said, you know, everybody have a course to finish, and I'm still on my course. Okay. Wow. I'm that's preaching amazing. the gospel right. to the entire world. God bless you and heaven smile on you. And this dream, you don't give up. Don't ever give up hope. So, wow, thank you so much for sharing your story. I really appreciate that. You really inspire and motivate a lot of people. So just keep doing what you're doing. Um, where can we find your work? Is um, well, I, on YouTube. You can find me on YouTube. Um, I have a lot of messages. I have a message too, too anointed to be disappointed. Okay. <laughs> but I just want to share this with you. Um, I used to be, a lot of people were stressed out because I want to have a show on stress. Mm -hmm. Too blessed to be stressed. Okay. A lot of people were stressed out. And I was praying one day and God gave me this word. If you rest in the Lord, you won't have no stress because you're too blessed. Right. So I used to say, well, no, no stress, be blessed. But God changed it around and said, right. you're too blessed. That's so and amazing. And now I'm so blessed to be stressed. Right. All right. I'm sorry to cut yeah. you off. So yeah. thank you so much, Gabriel Turner.